Well, good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening. It's lovely to see you again. So thank you for popping over just to see what I got in this month's snack surprise box. I hope that I find you very well and life is treating you well wherever you are. So I'm very kindly sent these boxes every month for free, as you know, from the guys over at Snack Surprise. Now, I'm not being paid to talk about the box, but I do receive the box for free just for unboxing and showing you what I got and telling you how it works and that kind of thing. We do love getting these boxes. We've been getting these quite a few months now, so yeah, they're cons you know they are consistently good and I think they are the best snack box on the market for the price and for what you get. I just think they cannot be beaten. You know, we just love them. But before I move on, I did want to say I'm going to run through the website and how it works. So if you know how it works, feel free to skip forward about a minute and 10 seconds if you just want to see what what's in the box. So this is the Snack Surprise website here. It is a snack discovery box. It's a subscription box, but you're not tied into any sort of contract or anything. So you can cancel whenever you like. They've got three different tiers. They have their mini box, which will contain about five, five plus snacks every month. And that costs £6.99. They have the original box, which will typically contain around 10 snacks. And that will cost you £12.49. And they also have the biggie, the premium box and the one that I've got to show you and will typically contain around 20, sometimes more snacks and that will cost you £24.99. Your box will always include a drink if you go for the original, which is the, me the medium box or the premium box. You know, you will always get a drink. Sometimes you get two drinks as well and all of your prices include shipping within the UK. They do ship outside the UK as well. There are different countries listed on the website in their FAQ section but if your country's not there do DM them or send them an email because I think they do sort of come and go with you depending on where you are. If you want to save yourself 15% on any of these boxes at checkout there's my wee code there it's what's for tea 15 and if you pop that in the box at checkout there will be a box for a discount code or promotion code if you just to put that in there you will receive 15% off which again I think is phenomenal because the prices are already quite low I reckon for this kind of box so that was basically how it works and you do get a different country every month in this box theme was Portugal which we've never had before so I was super excited and in your box you'll get your product leaflet and it will detail everything that's in your box so you get the contents of your mini which is a small box the original box which is the you know the medium one and you've got the premium which is the large but if you go for the premium box obviously you'll get all of the snacks so the first thing out the box were these potato crisps and these are high um, flavoured and these were ultra salty I must say not my favourite but yeah potato crisps out the box next were a more traditional sort of Portuguese biscuit now these were actually quite soft and I was surprised because I thought they were going to be harder and they're just a kind of soft honey flavoured cookie very traditional and I do like getting the more traditional kinds of snacks in these boxes out the box next was a massive pack of these wee chip sticks now we do have something similar in the UK but they're not quite as thin as these these are mega mega fine sort of potato sticks and apparently the Portuguese would have these with a meal so there you go another pack of crisps and these ones are sausage flavour or smoked sausage flavour it must be a Portuguese thing I reckon because I've never seen <laughs> sausage flavoured crisps before haven't actually opened these ones yet but I will let you know what they're like over on Instagram out the box next, I thought that, you know, I haven't tried these yet, so I thought these looked wonderful. And they are sort of toffee fruit chews. And the, back in the day, I remember, does anyone remember toffos? And they were a sort of fruit flavoured toffee type chew. So I reckon these are going to be lovely, especially for the car. Then another traditional sort of snack. These are wee pastry balls, but they've been dipped in a lemon glaze and then dusted with icing sugar. Now, these look wonderful. They just remind me of wee sort of profiterol or profiterol type things, obviously, without the cream. And they are mega light. And again, another massive bag. And that's the thing about this box as well. You'll always get full-size products, sometimes massive products. Out the box next, we've got a wee box of chocolates. These are very simple chocolates and they're just dusted in cocoa and flavoured with coffee. I do like coffee flavoured things, so I reckon those are going to be lovely. 
And then a complete contrast for the kids, I reckon, are going to be these sort of gummy worms. There are gummy worms, gummy fingers, just fruit flavoured, typical sort of Haribo type things. And our drink for this month was this Zumol, or Sumol is a pineapple flavoured carbonated drink. So it's going to be similar to Fanta or something like that. I haven't tried this one either. So yeah, that's our drink for this month. And then another bag of potato crisps. Now, the thing I like about these European boxes are you get the flavours you just wouldn't see here. So these are tomato and garlic flavoured potato crisps. And then we've got another wee traditional sort of mini biscuit type thing. And these are recommended to drink with tea or coffee. And I think these would be incredibly Moorish by the look of them. And then uh, something else we get in a lot of these European boxes I've noticed are these chocolate filled sort of big squashy croissants. So yeah, that'll be fab with coffee. And out the box next were these wee jam tarts or tartlets as they are calling them. So yeah, just some wee mini jam tarts. Again, I think these would be lovely to have with a tea or coffee. And just look at the shine on that jam. Don't they look fabulous? And then out the box next was some chocolate from this brand apparently is very popular in Portugal like we would have Cadbury's maybe and it's a very simple chocolate bar with almonds. And from the same brand we have another chocolate bar and this time it's flavoured with pineapple. Now this wasn't actually on the information card so I can't tell you which box this is from. I will put up on the screen whether it's from the original box, the mini box or the premium box just at the bottom of the screen. So I've no idea what this box is in. But let me tell you, that was lovely. Out of the box next, we've got some traditional fruit to choose, similar to Starburst or Opal Fruits, something like that. So yeah, do like them. And then some Smarties or chocolate beans or whatever you want to call them. They are just chocolate beans, I think. Yeah, this is them here. So very similar to Smarties. And then we've got some cinnamon flavoured gum. I used to get this from the dentist when I was a kid back in the day. And I do love cinnamon gum. Not everyone does, but I personally really like it. And then we've got some traditional nougat. Now, this isn't the soft nougat we would be used to. This is quite a hard, brittle, traditional nougat. And then we've got another wee traditional chocolate item. Apparently this is very popular with kids and it is just basically solid chocolate in the shape of an umbrella. Now mine's had broken off at the tip, unfortunately. And we always get a wee handful of random treats in the bottom of the box. And this month we've got some gum and some fruit flavoured hard candy. So that was the box. <laughs> I'll catch my breath now. <laughs> Wasn't that, a, a, you know, I just think it's amazing the amount of things that they managed to fit in these boxes. And I never managed to fit everything in the way that it comes to me. But yeah, jam packed, as you can see. So that was my box there, $24.99 for the premium box, which does include your delivery, like I said. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a massive thank you again to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the new channel members here on YouTube as well. It's very much appreciated, guys. Yeah, more than you know, I think. But yeah, that's just my way of saying thank you to you. So yeah, and thank you all for watching. And do let me know if you get the box yourself or if you're planning on getting the box. Like I said, I do think it's one of the best ones on the market for what you get and for the price. You know, and that there is a different country every month. I just don't know how they've managed to <laughs> squeeze so many products into these boxes for the prices that they offer them from. Like I said, I do get these boxes for free, but even if I wasn't, I would continue to pay for this subscription myself because I just think it's brilliant and we do enjoy getting them. And just before I move on and leave you, I wanted to give you a wee picture here of Jasper because so many of you have asked to see him and he's absolutely fine. He's thriving. He's managed to get down to his goal weight because he was on a bit of a diet. So yeah, we're delighted with him and so is the vet. So that was Jasper there. So I'm going to leave you now and catch catch up with you on Sunday for Meals of the Week and the winner of your Degusta box for this month. And I may or may not be back for a wee shopping haul. We really don't need much, so it might be a mini haul if there is one at all. But whenever you choose to join me again, guys, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off soon back here on What's for Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.